So you know, a lot of people are asking this question: What is ChatGPT? What is LLM? How do I get my hands in? How do I get my feet wet? And these are very good questions, but because of the nature of the technology, it needs an introduction. It needs some hands-on experience. So I'm Karthik Mohan. Uh, I'm an affiliate faculty with Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Washington, Seattle. I'm also working currently as a staff scientist at Chewy.com, and I worked at Meta and Amazon in the past. LLM stands for Large Language Models, and uh, what essentially LLM does is it democratizes the way machines understand and talk about language. So just like if I had to ask a question of a friend and say, hey, can you tell me more about good hikes in Seattle? And my friends would be like, okay, you should do Rattlesnake Ledge, you should do Mount Sai, you should do Mount Rainier, and then list a few things out in a particular way that is easy for me to comprehend, understand, receive information, replace this friend with your LLM or chat GPT, and that's what it would do for you. So ChatGPT is based out of LLM. LLM is the engine behind ChatGPT. So this is like, we people, you know, we see interacting with ChatGPT a lot, asking questions, but what's uh, powering it is LLM. And ChatGPT is where you can basically ask questions and ChatGPT is based on uh, extensive body of information, knowledge that it's trained on and then it, it's trained to answer these kind of questions and answer it really well. Uh, not to say that ChatGPT doesn't make mistakes, it does, but uh, it's a pretty useful tool to work with, to know, to understand, and to program as well. So the short course is going to be uh, two weekends, uh, three hours on each day of the weekend, and so that's basically 12 hours, and we're going to do an intensive deep dive into LLMs, into ChatGPT, into applications of ChatGPT to natural language processing specifically. Like you can think of sentiment analysis, you can think of emotion detection, we can think of like paraphrasing questions. We can also think of data augmentation as applications to uh, ChatGPT and LLMs in this short course. And the way we've designed the short course, uh, we're thinking about it is, it's gonna be a mix of concepts, it's gonna, make, it's gonna be a mix of programming, and also hands-on working with the code during the session and having one of our instructors help guide you through that and answer any questions. So by the end of the short course, you should have a good understanding and working knowledge of ChatGPT and LLMs, enough that you can start doing projects on your own. And to, to just help you with that process, we'll also have a mini project as part of the short course. So the mini project is most likely going to be, uh, you know, on a very on a favorite uh, natural language processing task like sentiment analysis, or paraphrasing questions or question answering. These are also some of my favorite applications in natural language processing, where you can use ChatGPT however you want to build your data set and train a model or use a pre-trained model and fine tune it. And we'll have a Kaggle contest with a leaderboard where in a friendly way you can compete with other teams and members in the course and see where you stand and also have fun learning in the process. So if you have some background in programming, you're curious about what ChatGPT can do, but you don't know where to start, um, you're working in the industry and you have some working knowledge of data and Python programming and a little bit of machine learning, then this is the course for you. So by the end of the course, you should be able to get your feet wet and, not, and take on your own projects with some understanding of the technology behind it. So yeah, if you're looking to get your feet wet, this course is for you.